I did not know that this man was married. You see, I know at this point it will be very difficult to defend Davido as a fan. So I'm sure some of you have um, seen the video trending on social media. It was shared by a lady called Pinky something, you know, a black American. Uh, guys, now I went to the video's page to check what's up, what are fans saying, you know, fans reaction. Because like I said, you know, earlier in the beginning of this video, that it's quite difficult now for the video's fans to even defend him. In fact, some of these fans are also Chioma's fans. So most of them saw some of these things as disgraceful you know these trending pictures and these trending photos uh i believe that at this point davido should marry another wife or two or three wives at this point because it's getting out of hand but that video hold on before we even talk about the video guys i went to his page and here are some comments that i saw on davido's page you are very embarrassing this guy another person said you know post the one way you they cry you allow women woman or side chicks to be dragging you every year must you trend on a woman thing oh well, guys this is a personal question to david for me right is why even take pictures with these women it's not like i support cheating right well, but what i'm trying to say is even though you're gonna cheat why take pictures with these women you are a mega star a nigerian african star for crying out loud you know these women will use you to trend will use you to chase clout at least if you want to do it do it with nigerian women at least we will know that you are doing it within your home country you know and if they use you to trend i mean it's still within nigeria don't mind me but guys um i quickly want to chip this in let us support mass queen dj bella something big will be happening or starting on the 18th of april guys i want you all to watch this video i can't wait you know to watch uh dj bella live do a thing for 10 days i am taking a step higher by attempting the guinness world record for the longest live stream dj concert for 250 hours I am Mask Queen DJ Bella. Join me at the Festival Conference Hotel, First Act Town, Lagos, Nigeria. For the longest live streaming concert by a DJ for 250 hours. That is 10 days and 10 hours. From on the 18th of April to on the 29th of April, join me as we make this stream. I can only do this with you, you, and you watching me. Thank you all for being part of this incredible journey. I am Mask Queen DJ Bella guys i bet the video thoughts dating a black american far away from home would make cheating easier instead these girls are even crazier it seems like the girls he meets most of them are packaged street girls ready to start fights on instagram even after sharing cozy pictures and videos with davido the only difference between these girls and street girls in nigeria is the location in fact these ones are even crazier now after the old fracas on social media with anita the lady that claimed that she's pregnant you would think that davido would have learned his lessons but davido i mean i, I don't know but I was, a, a, a new picture um surfaced on social media recently a lot of people are talking about these pictures um they've blasted davido it's crazy how they drag you know other people into it two-face and any dbs relationship always <laughs> always um get hit on social media immediately davido's picture with another lady starts trending all days a purported video you know of davido with another lady you just immediately see two-face and the and dibia trending again davido's pretty comment oh, is it okay to call it pretty comment i don't know what to call it <laughs> but if those issue reminds people of two faces relationship or two faces marriage oh, 
the picture shows the model and the video in what seems to be an intimate pose. Uh, they appear close together in a relaxed and comfortable manner with Davido's arm around her. Now, representatives of um, Davido have not commented on the trending photo. So, we're still waiting. Even Davido himself is yet to say anything about it. Now, about that video, the purported video of Davido crying um, that has been shared by that lady. According to some reports or some fans, uh, they said that it's David Doe uh, crying profusely and begging his wife, Chiomai. I guess they want it to be that. You know, they want it to, to you know, when within yourself, you feel like, okay, David Doe can be begging another woman. I mean, he's a superstar. There's no way this is possible. David Doe begging another woman, you know to have sex with her maybe the video is begging the wife for cheating on her with another woman i mean that's what the some of the fans are saying while others believe strongly because it was the same girl that shared it that's that he was actually begging the girl for sex the question is how did that girl get that video and again it's obvious that wherever the video is begging in that video is the one was the one who made the video i mean david doe in his vulnerable moment i mean talk about being with the enemy or being with the wrong person so mind you there is a video okay that i had sent to my group message right it's a group message of three of us okay and these are people i've known for a very long time and it's not funny now but we did laugh about it at one point because the video is dramatic Okay, I'm not going to speak on the video. I'm not going to speak of the context of the video. I'm not going to speak of what the video even was about. Okay, but Bonita, I told her, you can DM people all you want to. Do not post nothing. Okay, I did not give no permission for nothing to be posted. At this point, I haven't even, re I haven't replied. I haven't reacted. I haven't said nothing. My lips are closed. Your girl is asleep. Because I know if I just put my phone on charge and go to sleep when I wake up, I might have a bunch of comments, but it would have died down. You know, that's how it usually works. So Bonita ends up posting this video. It's on there 30 seconds because as soon as I get the notification, I call her. I'm like, why would why would you post that? Take it down right now. Immediately. I, I didn't say you could do that. I don't support that. Why would you do that? She's like, well, they're trolling. So I'm trolling. And I tell her, I said, well, Bonita, you might think you're trolling, but what it looks like is that you're inserting yourself more into a situation because I told her all you really had to do was say, that's not me in the picture. My homegirl just tagged me because we have a number situation and a phone call type when we're drunk situation. OK, but of course, Bonita trolling, going back and forth. She posts the video. OK, so now at this point, another friend had commented and I want to apologize on behalf of that. She called all the Africans roaches and I don't approve of that message either. As you can see, I did not comment or say anything probably until an hour or two ago. OK, until the end of the day, because I had nothing to say. I'm, I made a mistake. I posted something I didn't intentionally mean to post and I just wanted it to go away. So at this point, everyone's messaging me. They're talking crazy to me. Come and call me B, H's, all types of stuff. OK, I did not know that this man was married. Anytime that I was ever around DeVito, it was for one or two things. OK, and it's because I'm either styling him for an event because that's what I do. I also help guys. I style people at this point. I have never seen a wife. Um, I had only ever seen a baby mama, to be honest, ever. And I knew he had multiple baby mamas, but I didn't care because it wasn't my business to ask. I never thought to ask. And David, you've got to understand, like, seriously, like this, you know, girls are not like, you know, where you're from, you know, the, 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 the way, you know, they think in Nigeria is different from the way those girls think. They will release anything that's with them, you know, because we we have cultures that kind of hold us and that can restrict us from doing certain things, or the girls, the ladies from doing certain things. But these ones, they don't send your papa. <laughs> They don't send your papa, whether your father is the billionaire or this thing. They will share whatever they want to share. 
you know they are not scared of anybody these girls are crazy you know and i'm sure people have saved this video for memes oh my god the video should be ready for for premium dragging okay guys let us move straight to the next one this one is about Bobriski. Before sentencing Bobriski, the judge asked Bobriski about his gender. And Bobriski said, he's a man. And it's even get worse, guys. Really, really worse. Now, an official at the Nigerian Correctional Services said that Bobriski was treated like any other detainee and underwent a detailed examination. The examination revealed that his male biological features including his genital organs remained unchanged so are you telling me and that they strip bobriski naked to confirm this oh, man how uncomfortable this would have been for, for bobriski <laughs> now let's talk about um efcc's response to all of this and by the way we, we've got um this guy in the news junior pope yeah sad news you know very very sad news but before before we talk about that you know, in response to some nigerians comments about bobiski's case where they criticized the you know the decision to sentence a first-time offender to six months in jail without the option of a fine referring to it as injustice and oppression how how you are saying mutilation of the nera i am very sure in that party that bobiski was mutilating nera there were other people mutilating nera with her so how 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 is this so earlier this year an actress named oluadara simi or more was also convicted for abusing the naira or misusing you know uh, the money at a wedding she was given the option to pay a fine instead of going to jail the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, as uh, EFCC, um, says that many celebrities, that's, that's what they said, they said many celebrities um, are being investigated and will soon be taken to court for misusing the Nigerian currency. Now, the commission made this statement on Sunday, just yesterday, shortly after Bobiski was convicted and sent to jail for the same offense on Friday. Uh, the commission promised that nobody guilty would get away with it they said that they will keep working hard and won't let anyone escape punishment since bobiski was arrested a lot of nigerians on social media have been tagging the efcc in videos showing other celebrities misusing the nigerian currency so the efcc said they've noticed more and more people are sharing videos of people misusing you know money so some celebrities whose names uh they didn't mention have been questioned you know so we're, we're waiting for pictures though yeah and videos of these people in courts uh, they also said that they've been working on this issue since february 7th 2024 and will continue to investigate and punish anyone who misuses the money that's the naira uh, the fcc said they are glad that the public is paying attention to this issue especially after bobriski's case bobriski had last friday after his convention pleaded with the court to give him a lesser punishment as he was not aware of the law against abusing Naira. Now, guys, let us talk about Junior Pope. Since the death of Junior Pope, everyone has been sharing, you know, videos praising the river goddess and worshipping the river goddess. Yeah. Is this content or what? And what are they encouraging? Maybe they are looking for new converts yeah yeah this is an opportunity you know to use junior pope to advertise the river goddess now katrina um i think that's her name right uh the former big brother ninja husband shared a video where she participated in a ritual for blessings from a water goddess to celebrate her friend's birthday not even her birthday it was her friend's birthday and she took a a video of it you know she encouraged people not to hesitate in seeking help reminding them that the world um holds mysteries beyond what we can see with our mortal eyes now another video surfaced on social media showing um actress regina's mother making an appeal to the water spirit at annam river where um junior pope died now there's a, a new report trending on social media about junior pope uh, they said Zubi, fans said Zubi didn't uh, mourn uh, Junior Pope. 
and this actress angela okori um said that zubi is hiding something that zubi and um junior pope um had issues before junior pope passed away and she blamed stylishly blamed zubi for it uh she ended it by saying that uh, you know junior pope was even zubi's or ga like a boss probably was the one who kind of like show him the way in the um entertainment industry but zubi and i care less about him that's what she's trying to say it's obvious that um there's no love in nollywood um, i mean i don't think i even think it's an understatement it's worse than that actually now about the makeup artist you know i just quickly want to give update about about her um so this uh, filmmaker chukuma innocent ide supports the makeup artist and the sound man's family of the boat 700 thousand naira and he even um asks um fans to um find other victims uh family so that he can help them so people are trying to help right uh not just that the akwai bomb state governor orders the body of the makeup artist that was buried beside the the river to be brought to the state for proper barrier i mean i, I said it earlier that is disgraceful because of money they couldn't give this lady this 24 year old girl a proper barrier um it's really sad and it was alleged that the villagers had insisted that she must be buried there as their family members you know failed to perform the ritual so they said that um it is dangerous like it's um um it is a taboo or inappropriate for them not to do the proper sacrifice before taking a body but the body has been exhumed now so i guess they have paid for you know that the governor have paid for that and they've handled it and according to the governor you know the governor actually visited the family and he told the family that i mean the girl didn't go out to do prostitution they didn't go to um anam river or where, where's the location it's nanambra right that she didn't go to Anambra to do prostitution that's you know she went there to hustle which is true you know it's a 20 year, year old trying to struggle to make ends meet and this happened to her and i hope you know the governor also helped the family you know financially if you, if you know what i mean um you know this whole report um the, the the whole report today is just um something i would call shocking and you know it is like talking about davido you know with another woman why would you even take a picture you see that davido willingly took a picture with that girl and I, I'll, i'm waiting to hear from davido you know for him to come and tell us that oh like this picture was taken years back or was taken you know before anita even like before the incident with anita or oh, this lady is just chasing clouds i mean hoping that <laughs> she's just she's just yeah we know she's chasing clouds but at the same time why did you allow that happen and about um junior pope is really sad you know each time we talk about it and but whiskey um you know uh the the correctional officer telling us that uh, Bobiski was treated like any other detainee and underwent a detailed examination so you don't want to imagine that right <laughs> it mess, messes your head like do they strip him naked and say okay let us check this okay let it, and it's a guy that is obviously will be a man that is checking you know if it's a female or it's a person that is seen as a female though it's a female that will check him uh, that's that's gonna check they're supposed to check the lady <laughs> i'm even confused okay guys um that's where i'm gonna hold it um like this video subscribe until we see you next time peace